Hey, good afternoon. It's, uh, I'm sorry, good morning. It's Friday, the, um, uh, what is it? It's the 6th of October, and this is the Red Shoe Business Club. I'm Mike Wright with Tax Right, the sponsor of the Red Shoe Business Club, and I hope you notice we have a little different setup today. I'm just trying out some different things because the lighting that I've seen uh, on the recordings has not been as good as I wanted so I thought I'd try a different try a different setup and see how that works. Uh, I just realized I didn't put my uh, "Do Not Disturb" sign on the door, so if somebody happens to walk in, you'll forgive me for that problem. So I got a big old dollar sign here on the uh, on the pad today, and that's because we're talking about money again. You may recall we talked about money last week. Uh, money is something that every business owner should be uh, uh, concerned about. I don't want to say obsessed about, but I want you to be concerned about it. There are a couple of reasons for that. For one thing, everything that a business does is related to money, whether it's expenses, whether it's income, or whether it's the most important thing, profit. Profit is what you want to have in your business. What I discovered is when talking to small business owners that oftentimes they think of product as a profit rather, as something that they get uh, if they're lucky. But profit is what every business is concerned about. And I'm writing that real big. I hope you can see it. Profit is not something that you get by accident. Profit is something that you get by design. Now look, I'm not stupid. I know that profit can be big, profit can be small. Sometimes you lose money, and so you have a negative profit. But the point about this issue is that what you're concerned about is the bottom line. Now, a couple things I wanna dispel. First off, I always have to mention this about not-for-profits. A not-for-profit organization may not call their profit profit, but if they aren't making more money than they pay out in operating expenses, then they are not able to do anything in order to fulfill the mission that their not-for-profit purpose was intended. So paying attention to making profits is the most important thing for each and every business. And obviously you want to make that profit bigger, as big as you can, because that's the profit that goes into your pocket or into the pocket of the other people that are your investors, your shareholders, your family, uh, the people that depend upon you, your employees depend upon your profit. Yes, on the one hand, employees are an expense, but on the other hand, if your company is not making a profit, in other words, if you're not making money that is greater than what you pay your employees, your employees suffer too. These are responsibilities that every employer must take seriously when they take them on. Because when you hire an employee, you are making them a promise. You're making them a promise that as long as they do the things that you have hired them to do, that you're going to provide them the money or the benefits that you have promised to do uh, in that hiring agreement or contract or whatever it is. Um, I'm not trying to use the legal term here of a contract, I'm just talking about when you make an offer, you stated certain terms and conditions and your promise is to fulfill those. Again, I'm not stupid. I know from time to time that this can be a tough thing to do. I know from time to time that you might even be unable to pay your employees. But if that ever happens, it's embarrassing, it's crushing, but you have to take, make every effort you can to make them whole as quickly as you can and if they're willing to continue to work for you and you're willing to continue to have them work for you to make it worth their while to have gone through uh, that difficult situation. So for all of these reasons, for all of these reasons I've just mentioned, money is king because if you don't have money, you can't do any of these things. So why did I want to talk about cash being king? Am I saying that Everything you should, be, you should do should be done with cash. Well, no, uh, that's not practical, even for my own business. Uh, I have a lot of clients that are 
uh, out of state uh, at a distance from where I am right now. And for me to expect them to pay me in cash is a little ridiculous. Uh, so the ability to deal with the credit markets, uh, the processors of credit cards and all that are important. But what you want to be looking at are your bank balances. Um, first off, we'll talk about this more at another time. You should have more than one bank account. The system that I teach, one that I learned from a book called Profit First, is that you probably need a minimum of five accounts. I'm not going to go into them right now. But the point is that by operating out of various accounts, you're able to control without the difficulty of waiting for your accountant to show up. You're able to control where your business is cash-wise. This is a cash management system. It may have to do with bank accounts, but each of those bank accounts represents cash. We're not talking about credit card accounts. We're not talking about lines of credit. We're talking about bank accounts that have money in them. You should also have some cash. Now, if you're an individual, if you're looking at your own individual finances, it's important that you have cash money on your person at all times. It's important for a variety of reasons. First reason is self-esteem. Second reason is dealing with an emergency. Third reason is being able to help someone that needs help right now without having to go through a lot of rigmarole. You've seen those folks on the street that uh, are standing out on the corners asking for money. You've seen people that come up to you in, in uh, parking lots and ask you for money. Here's the thing. As a, as a person that uh, it wants to be helpful, as a person that has a, uh, an appreciation of the responsibility that you have in our society, you may well want to be able to help one of those people, even if it's nothing more difficult than taking them by the arm and walking them to the nearest McDonald's and buying them lunch or a cup of coffee or walking over to the, the gas pump and actually putting gas in their car. But my point to you at this point is, if you're doing that, then you want to be able to reach in your pocket and pull out cash and do that that way. Self-esteem, as I said, it, it makes you feel good to know that you have ready cash in your pocket. You don't need to have thousands in your pocket, but a couple hundred doesn't hurt. Uh, and uh, from time to time, that be, might be something that can help you out with a problem that you hadn't anticipated on your own account. Uh, maybe you realize that an automatic payment has come out sooner than you expected and you need to be able to get some money into your business bank account quickly to cover that. Well, if you're carrying a few hundred dollars in cash in your pocket, you probably will be able to take care of that. Cash money is something that is worthwhile. But here's another thing that you might not realize and that I can vouch for as true. I don't know how it works, but it's true. Many people have said that money attracts money. And so if you're carrying money on your person, it makes you more attractive to money. I don't know how it knows that, that you have money, but somehow it does. But let's look at that from the opposite side. And the opposite side is neediness. And the universe recognizes when you're operating from neediness. Again, for the third time, I'm not stupid. I know... Many of us, if not all of us, have op periods of time in our lives when we become needy. Things have happened that we couldn't anticipate, that we didn't anticipate enough to take care of, and we have to deal with the situation, maybe hat in hand, asking for help from people that we never thought we'd have to ask for help from. But if you are in a needy position, you don't want to come across as needy. You don't want to be thinking in terms of everything that you do in the matter of what you lack. You want to be thinking about the fact 
and this is the important thing here, there is no reason to be needy for any long period of time because the universe is so abundant that there is more than enough to go around for everyone. Those of you that are Christians probably are familiar with the phrase from the Bible about give out your measure, pack down and overflowing. And where does that concept come from? It comes from the idea that the entire universe is like that. So if you uh, have your bank accounts, if you have your cash in your pocket, if you're dealing with life from a standpoint of strength and, and prosperity, uh, even at those times when things are kind of tight, uh, it's much easier to go through. And then finally, uh, the other thing about money that you want to remember is, well, I should have put that down, money attracts money. And that got too low to see on the sheet, didn't it? There we go. I kind of like this new, this new setup because I can use this tripod here and do a little bit more. So cash functioning is the thing you want to operate on. I'll wrap up by talking, going back to that concept that I've introduced before, that concept of being a real business. The biggest single difference between a real business and all the other businesses is that real businesses operate from the standpoint of cash flow. No, not cash flow, of cash. They operate from the standpoint of you pay for what you buy, you sell what you sell, and you're not doing things by borrowing money in order to borrow money in order to pay off the money that you borrowed the first time. This is the way large corporations operate. They operate uh, strictly from the standpoint of how they can borrow more money in order to pay off what they owe in order to keep operating. A real business operates very similar to the way an individual does. And that is you do your business, you get paid by your customers, you pay your debts. You may have debts and it may take you some years to pay them off, but the point is you're paying them off. Your purpose behind the debt is satisfied and you're going to pay the debt off. You don't plan to borrow the money to borrow money down the road to pay that debt off. You're trying to move forward. If you have a line of credit, it's something that you pay off each month. And if circumstances prevent you from paying it off each month, you pay it off as rapidly as you can. You are not maintaining a cash flow based entirely upon the, debt, the, the debts that you can juggle in the operation of your business. That's why the dollar sign is so important. That's why the profits are so important. That's why all of these other things that we talked about are so important, because they are the things that allow you to function as a real person in, with a real business that functions in a way that you can be proud of. Uh, and that pride is something that's uh, very important uh, for most business owners. Most entrepreneurs want to have that feeling of success that they get, not necessarily because they've become millionaires, not necessarily because they've created something so brand new that people still marvel at the creation. No, they get that feeling of success from the idea of a job well done. And that's really what marks a real business person they have the satisfaction of knowing that they've done their job well. And cash may be king, but it's because you have control of it and because it serves you rather than the other way around. There'll be more about this topic as we go forward. And I want you to remember this, and that's why I mentioned it. Uh, still doing that uh, fourth quarterly review next Tuesday, the 10th. Uh, go to HTTPS double slash mcw.bz slash for the number four L-Y-R-E-V uh, and sign up. Uh, it will be a good program. If you haven't done this kind of thing before as a business owner, you will find it worthwhile, I guarantee you. Uh, and it'll also give you some practical experience in doing this and will show you why the Red Shoe Business Club is a place you want to be. 
So that's it for today. See you next week.